Shares of Matterport up 35% since going public via SPAC back in July, but the stock falling recently, down 12% over the past two weeks. The company helps businesses from real estate to construction create 3D digital twins of physical spaces and recently announced an expansion of its capture service, which now covers 80 cities in the US and the UK. Joining us now to tell us more about growth plans is CEO RJ Pittman. RJ, great, great to have you with us. Uh, really fascinating uh, uh, business. And, and, and first, a big picture question, uh, if I may, which is these digital versions, we just throw, threw a few of them up on, on screen, uh, of physical spaces uh, are used for what exactly? It's, it's mainly real estate and hospitality companies that, that want to have these digital versions of, of the properties that they own. What do they use them for? Yeah, I mean, you know, Matterport has been leading the digital transformation of real estate and the entire built world for more than a decade. So that covers commercial real estate, residential real estate, travel and hospitality, all the way out to industrial manufacturing. And think of it as a digital facilities management platform in the enterprise. So we've really scaled this broadly across a number of key vertical markets. And, and so, what, are the, what are this, is this used for? Is this, you know, so that someone can then show show someone their home and potentially sell it? Is it only useful at the point of transaction, or, or has the pandemic and the way we all interact now digitally added a, a much further, deeper potential use for your products? That's right. Yeah, it's absolutely the gold standard for virtual tours. We have been selling more homes and properties, even commercial properties, sight unseen powered by a dimensionally accurate, photorealistic Matterport 3D model. And, you know, that has really moved the needle for sure since the pandemic. But like I said, you know, this has been a business of ours for over a decade now that's just been accelerating, like, right through the pandemic. And in the space of the enterprise, it's no longer just about promoting a property for sale or for rent or an Airbnb. It's actually now being used for everything from 3D digital construction documentation, so large construction projects, home construction projects, high rises are using Matterport to be able to document every step of the project from framing to sheetrock to finishes, uh, all in detailed and accurate 3D. And then once the property is done and it's operational, it becomes basically an operating system for the building because we've turned the entire building into a digital version of itself and we can do things much smarter than we did in, let's say, the physical or offline world uh, of years of old. I, I, I cover retail, RJ, and so automatically I'm starting to think of the applications that could be done in retail. I know a number of retailers are trying to use augmented reality to sell more sort of high-consideration products, so a couch or a dining table, so you don't order something, have it delivered, and then realize it, it doesn't fit in the space or it doesn't quite look right there. I mean, is this something that you could offer a retail customer like these augmented reality products I'm talking about? Or is this just so detailed that it just can't be done for sort of everyday products? It needs to be a much bigger project to make it worth it for the return on investment for a company like Matterport. Now, we are simplifying it and we're bringing it to the home. We had a great project with Cost Plus World Market, for example, that over last summer during the pandemic, uh, they did an entire um, e-commerce experience, but powered by Matterport. So they were able to showcase all of their outdoor furnishings, all of their accessories and things for sale uh, in a way that looked like you were actually in the store or actually in an outdoor setting. Uh, and it became a very compelling experience that really was better than the traditional way of, of, of shopping online. We, we have been turning up retailers, you know, for a more immersive uh, merchandising and shopping experience uh, one after the other again, not just through COVID, but even beforehand. And the other part of it that retail is, is taking hold of is realizing that they can take all of those products in digital form and allow you to place them inside your Matterport digital twin. So this is better than augmented reality. You can create that carbon copy replica of your home and put furniture in from anywhere, RH Modder to Crate and Barrel, Ikea, you name it, and suddenly get a very clear view of what an entire ensemble of uh, new furnishings might look like in any property. And again, that goes for offices as well as homes. 